Hello and welcome back. My name is Matt here with Blaine today taking a look at an exciting new offering from WBP in Poland. This is the Jack Rifle. Jack Rifle is a great new offering from our friends over at WBP and Blaine's going to tell us a little bit about our great relationship we've had with them. Yep, we've been working with um, our friends over at Arms of America and WBP over several years. Uh, really blessed to have that relationship. They've brought in a lot of cool and unique firearms and real excited to have them. We're just gonna show you a few of them just so you have a kind of an idea of the lineage that had led up to that. But basically the guns originally came in in the Fox series. Now the Fox rifles uh, are the standard AKM style uh, rifle, but it did have a rear trunnion, a real rear trunnion, which would allow you to mount uh, the Boreal optic rail that you see on this. Now this is a Fox that we tricked out, added muzzle brake, uh, the railed handguard, and the Boreal uh, stock as well as the rail on the gun. But it allowed you to kind of really trick the gun out. It was a real neat offering um, from um, uh, WBP, allowed a lot of flexibility, had a lot of you that were extremely happy with the Foxes, but you said, hey, can you offer us a standard AKM uh, rear, so that's where the jack rifle came in. In the interim, we have seen many uh, pistol models that have been coming in uh, from uh, WBP. This is their classic milled mini jack. They do also have a stamped version of this. So again, just a lot of neat stuff coming out and real happy to be able to uh, be working with Arms of America and WBP on these uh, beautiful rifles. Yeah, they uh, very happy to have teamed up with both both Arms of America and WBP to be able to make this kind of stuff happen. And we're seeing some beautiful rifles and pistols because of it. Um, as Blaine said, really the most notable difference between the new Jack rifle and the Fox rifle would be the, the rear trunnion and buttstock difference. The buttstock does not need to be trimmed because it has a standard AKM rear trunnion on here. Let me jump in. And also if you have M4 stock adapters, or you wanna pop something off, make it a little bit more tactical, this is gonna be a little bit more flexible than the uh, Fox rifle rear trunnion. It, it is, definitely. Now the Fox gave you the ability to have the over the top cover mounted optic very easily and repeatably. But this does not have that feature. You do have a side rail here that gives you that ability using RS regulate mounts or, uh, you know, mounts from Premier Shooting Solutions or any, you know, uh, Russian mounts or other countries mount as as such the laminate wood furniture on here is absolutely gorgeous You saw this on the Fox classics in the past and that is the same furniture that you see here again Without the trimming on it the fit and finish on these guns is superb the rich black color throughout has a bayonet lug on the front It is threaded 14 by 1 left hand and they all come with the slant brake the, they all do have, <coughs> excuse me, 800 meter sights, 800 meter sights, heat treated receiver with all the Polish markings on it. You can see the CMP for the uh, proper selector markings there. There is not a center selector notch for an auto because this is not an auto rifle. Let me jump in there on the markings. Also something else I'll point out, uh, there are several other matching markings on the gun with like the dust cover the bolt, the bolt carrier, and several other uh, parts on the gun. So for those of you that are interested in collecting, you know, an imported gun and you like that matching parts, uh, WBP has done a fantastic job of doing that for you. So again, this is going to aid in the collectability of that gun and resale value down the road. Yep, absolutely. And uh, the barrel, of course, in these guns, beautiful, well-made barrel. It's a chrome line, cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, I believe it's made on like Steyr machine equipment. It is an absolutely wonderful barrel. And that's made by uh, FB Radom also in uh, out of Poland. Yep, so uh, again, yet another reputable military arsenal here throwing their hand in this whole rifle here. It has the, the uh, nickel plated, excuse me, uh, zinc plated bolt here or polished bolt carrier, which gives it that look. They all have that and that's kind of like a classic thing with Polish AKs. A lot of Polish AKs traditionally have a polished bolt carrier in them. So that, that aids in that. These have the original fire control group from Poland. Um, the U.S. parts on these are going to be the muzzle brake, gas piston, magazine, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, pistol grip. So, yep. so another uh, great offering. Uh, WBP continues to knock it out of the park with offering you know, traditional AKM-style uh, pattern guns. 
Uh, one of the things that we've seen over the last three or four years of working with WBP is they um, kind of went from you know, a relatively newbie in the industry to these are now slowly becoming one of the industry standards of what other guns are being engaged by. So that's real exciting uh, to be able to see that. And of course, we're real happy to be able to offer it. We do expect, uh, you know, other new and exciting things coming out of WBP as we go in the next uh, couple of years. They are not rushing things. They are taking their time. So you can't expect new stuff, but they're not going to sacrifice the quality uh, over trying to rush things to market. But you definitely want to stay tuned for what's going to be coming out of our friends over in Poland. Definitely so. You guys definitely want to stay tuned to that. And you want to hang tight, too, because we're going to take this out to the range and get a little bit of live fire with it so you can see how it performs. And we can get our hands uh, on the trigger a little bit and, you know, throw some lead down range. Yep. So stop on down the range with Matt and let's check it out. Yep. Thanks again. Gonna get some uh, testing time here with the new Jack rifle. Got some Wolf Full Metal Jacket 123 grain loaded up in the US Palm Mag. Let's go ahead and run this thing. And great, flawless all the way through. Let's keep it running with the Jack. We're down here doing more testing with the Wolverine PBS-1, the Jack Rifle from WBP, and we've got some Plain Jane Wolf 123 grain full metal jacket ammo loaded up in here. So we're going to see how that performs. We just had a lot of fun with some other ammunition and its performance, so let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit, see how this sounds. And smooth as glass. We got the Wolverine attached. We got some brown bear subs in there in our favorite magazine. And we're gonna have some fun here seeing how the jack runs suppressed. That is quiet. I'm gonna shoot off steel here. That's nice. Ha, 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 ha.